Okay, I just recently purchased a Kubota KX05-5 and uh, it was, comes with a rear view camera kit option there. So I picked it up today at Lawson Sales there. Came in pretty quick. Here's the schematics there. And there's a mounting plate where the camera sits in. And here's the the other infant is a connector cable and I guess this is the camera here and then there's a mounting plate and they also give you another Kubota uh, ornament because that's what we're gonna be taking off and popping it in so there's a series what it looks like is that I have three little set washers there that I have to pop up. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll be back. One, two, and well, I took that one off already there. Okay, so I got them off. Now I'm just gonna remove the Kubota, make a, maybe a chain out of it there or See if I can put it somewhere else there in the shop. And now we have uh, mounting hardware. So That's on the inside. No. it appears that I'll sit something like that. Is there a washer set go with it? All right, I'll take a look. Okay. Just tightening it up. They have uh, washers and lock washers and also a, uh, a nut there. So I use the 916 socket set there to, to tighten it up there. All right. The drawing isn't that great, but you can see there's a little knockout. Okay, shows here to feed the camera in through. This is the camera. I'm sure there's one way to put it. Probably with the little tabby up there. Um, so I'll pop that one in there. And it looks like it goes straight in here. I grommet. I grommet. I grommet in. It wraps in. It's not in. And then set screw. Okay, I'll get the screws, put that in there, and I'll be back. Okay, camera is fastened. And now we'll make the connection. So here's how it comes through the one end. And it looks like it has some type of uh, uh, S-Video digital something. This appears to be the other end. And then we have this have adapter music. piece here. So we'll see if that works. They all slide on there. I'm guessing a little bit here, but we'll, uh, we'll be back. So one end and the other end. It's on the, we're looking just above the coolant reservoir here. Take it off with glue. All right, so you have uh, male and female ends here. So we're just gonna push that together and then do the same thing. I did uh, pull the cap off and that is indeed the, the video cable. And it looks like here's the clamp and there's two spots here for it there. So. We'll just push these uh, mounts onto it afterwards and I'll show you a picture of it afterwards. Then we'll move on to the uh, camera housing. Okay. They are locked on. Cable is secure. Well, maybe that looks good. Maybe I'll bring this one back a little bit in here. Here's the connection. They're just a push connect. There's only one way to put them on. 
Let me see if this slides up here. Okay. No, nope, they don't. Okay, it came with a smaller uh, hood ornament here. So how you do is you put the felt that it comes with and then uh, you push it through, make sure it's the right direction. And then all you do is you pop it on just like this so that the uh, little tabs are kind of angled up. And it locks on. And that's it. So there it is. Okay, so let's just get that on there. Okay. So we position the camera. We put the uh, the housing on there. And I'm using a 10 mil socket set there to tighten up the three bolts. They come with uh, lock washers and a washer. You just do it hand tight. And that's it, it's pretty sharp. So one last final step, holding the toggle switch down and then turning it to run. Puts you into a secondary setting menu. All right, try it again. It's the screen that comes up, you hit English, and then uh, you toggle down until you get setting. Setting, turn it down, camera setting. And because this didn't come uh, factory installed with one, this was actually set to the off. So um, when you uh, highlight it and you know press down on the toggle switch, you could rotate it. And then once you hit on off, uh, you, uh, you would finish with the check mark. Uh, signal is NTSC and then you back out of everything, get back into the, the main menu screen here, and then here you have a button, that's the camera button, and there you go. So I installed the camera the right direction, and you can see the bucket is, uh, it's pretty well pointed right down at the back of the uh, the machine there but you can make those adjustments to whatever view that you need to so that's it that's uh, the installation of the uh, Kubota uh, it's the rear view camera kit it's an optional one and it came pretty quick so thanks to the guys at uh, lost in sales for all your help Have some more video of this uh, this actually in operation.